Okay, this is all going to be interdirectional, and you guys get to play along with me. So, we're going to have a great discussion today about miracles or blessings. And there goes, okay, we're good. Okay, miracles or blessings. Try not to confuse the two because this thing is going to just take off with you. And I'm going to give you some deep thought here to really get your brain going. So we're going to do this way. Miracles is a surprising or unwelcome event that's not explainable by nature or scientific laws and is therefore considered to be the work of a divine agency. Isn't that just delightful? Divine agency. That's not to be confused with God. Okay, we're good here. A miracle is generally defined according to the origin of the word in either the Greek or the Latin as that which causes wonder and astonishment being extraordinary in itself and amazing or inexplicable by normal standards. Like waking up. Yeah, like waking up is good. <laughs> Jim is always right there. All right, so here we're going to have a little discussion time here with you guys. <clears throat> Are all miracles, now think about this, are all miracles blessings or are all blessings miracles? Neither. neither one. Neither one. Okay, we got to vote for neither one. And I'm hearing crickets, crickets, crickets. I heard. What do you think? Are all miracles blessings or are all blessings miracles? Neither. Pardon? Neither. I agree with that. Neither? Neither. Okay. It could be either or. Could be either so. or. Okay. That's where I am. Both. Both. Yeah, I mean, yeah, this is not a trick question. This is why I just want you to think about this. Because what the deal is, these two, these two things meld together so many ways. It's just kind of, of this huge gray area where I can say, oh yeah, that's a miracle, that works for me. Or that's a blessing, that works for me. I can't think of a miracle that's not a blessing. There True. There one, but I can't think of it. True. Yeah. So, so what, what you might consider a miracle might not look like a miracle to somebody else. That could be very true also. But if a miracle may not look like one. <laughs> because you don't know how it happened. Only God can perform miracles. Yeah, Men did you read my notes? <laughs> Have you heard this, Eunice? It's, I've interjected some opinions. <laughs> That's very true. Only God, only God can perform miracles. Okay, man can perform or cause to be a blessing. Let's take let's take point of reference. Let's take Rob. Rob is a very great musician, very talented man. Sings very well. When we're together like this in this environment, and Rob leads us in worships, worship songs, that's a blessing. That's a blessing. <laughs> See? Brought to you by Rob. Who gave him the talent? Pardon? Who gave him the talent? Well, God gave him the talent. I'm not taking anything away from God here. I'm just saying that in this environment right now, that Rob provided the blessing. You know? And everybody who prepared food, prepared food for the for the gathering today. Outstanding blessing. Everybody, oh, so yeah, I got blessed a whole bunch of times. <laughs> I really did. I mean, it was wonderful. I got a little tummy <coughs> down the party, as somebody used to say. So we're going to have a little quiz here, and I want you. This is going to be just show of hands. I was going to get little paddles to turn back and forth, but I didn't have time. <laughs> just saying. Just saying. Okay, miracle or blessing, okay? Roll with me here. Creation. Miracle. 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 Oh, that. Huh? Uh, Both. It's also a blessing, yes. Okay, so it can now, now I'm going to be right up front with you. It could be both, all right? There's not, again, we're back in this parallel track realm here. So, okay, but the majority of you believe that creation is a miracle. How about 
The making of Adam and Eve, miracle or blessing? Yes. Both. Both? Okay. Miracle. It's debatable whether I'm being blessed by Eunice or not. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yes, 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 and darts. Yep. <laughs> yep. You gotta drive home with her, honey. I know. <laughs> you know, I think I lucked out. I think I'm in a separate car now. <laughs> or I may be thumbing. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> How about this? Miracle or blessing? Noah and the ark. Uh, both, 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 both. Wow. Ooh. Both? What do you think? Except for Noah and his family. It was a disaster. Huh? It was a blessing on his family that he got told him to do that. True. Yeah. Okay. I would say more of a blessing. More of a blessing. Okay. So there you go. I mean, um, this is all opinion. I'm not going to, there's no quiz. All right. These are opinion kind of things. Everybody got a nose and everybody has an opinion. I'd say for the majority, it was a disaster. <laughs> how, about, how about this one? Miracle or blessing? The burning bush. Miracle. Miracle. Okay, that's a majority rule on that one. How about the parting of the Red Sea? Miracle. Another miracle. We would look at it as a miracle, but the Israelis. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's a blessing. Good, yeah, see, there, now we're coming back into this curve again. It, it, it could have been a miracle that God parted it, but like Jim just said, it was a blessing to the Israelis who were able to cross the over and get to the other side of the Red Sea. It was but not so much a blessing for the Egyptian army, yeah. but no, we'll here. talk about that later. <laughs> How blessing, blessing or miracle? The Hebrew Hebrew nation is given the land of milk and honey, Israel. Blessing or miracle? Blessing. 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 Very good, class. Super. But they probably couldn't have gotten down there at all. That's right. Well, you know, God gave them all the, all the ways to get there. You know, they wandered in the wilderness till. Look at the walls of Jericho. That was a miracle. Yeah. How about this? Blessing or miracle? The Tower of Babel. Neither. Neither. Okay. I got one vote for neither. Blessing or miracle? Come on, guys, work with well, me. Well, destruction was... <clears throat> no, no, this is the Tower of Babel I'm talking about. Exactly. This is where they were building, they decided they were going to build this tower to heaven. And that was man doing that. And that was man doing that. And what did God do? So he changed all their languages that, so that yeah, they okay. wouldn't be able to continue building. Okay, so this, is that a blessing or a miracle? So we got the new little machines called Babel. Well, that was a miracle. I would call it a miracle because it changed the way someone's brain functions. Okay, good deal. So we're yeah. so okay, we're good with miracle on this, right? Yeah. Charles. Good job, buddy. Work with me here. How about this one? Miracle or blessing? The birth of Jesus. Uh, miracle or blessing? Both. 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 Okay, I got votes for both. All right, cool beans. How about this one? Raising Lazarus from the dead. Uh, miracle or blessing? blessing. Both. 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 Everybody okay with both? Yeah. All, right. All right. How about turning water into wine? Miracle, miracle. or miracle. blessing? Blessing. Both. Blessing. Miracle. Blessing. Blessing to his mother. Yes, yeah, so, well, well, it was a blessing to the wedding party. Yeah. <laughs> they were fixing the. They were fixing not to be able to party now. And they escaped all the horses. So it, it it was a miracle that actually crossed over to being a blessing for everybody who was involved. Those okay, this is going to be, sir. It'd be a non-blessing, uh, a blessing for those who didn't get drunk on it. <laughs> you know, that's why I lean on you. Okay, now this one's a little tough, and I really want you to think about this before you throw something in. The crucifixion of Jesus. Miracle? Blessing. 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 Think about it. Blessings. 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 What happened to him was no miracle. Blessing. 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 Majority here. What are we hearing? Blessing. Blessing. Majority. Okay. 
I'm going to give you some, some things to think on just because I can. The, the actual leading up to the crucifixion was an act of man, which makes it in the blessing <laughs> realm according to the definition. Because man, like I said, can perform blessings. But that's a little weird. It's, I, Jim, I understand it. Jim, Jim's thinking on me here, but it's a little weird. But stay with me. I'm going to enlighten me. Okay. The components to what happened, in my idea, was a miracle. Because you have to see how all the components fell together. And I'm going to, I'm going to lay them out for you. It didn't really happen until God chose the time that he wanted to do this. This is on God's timing. This was not on man's timing. Jesus, these are the, these are the lead up to's. Jesus was arrested illegally. We can all agree with that. The first step happened on a private night before Annas when there was no court session supposed to take place. This is a big lead up. That was illegal. Too. And it was, and then the Sanhedrin illegally held the trial before sunrise, before the Sabbath, which was a holy day. So you have all these things that are starting to, to put these pieces, like Eunice says, put this puzzle together. Because it was God's time. Right. It was concluded in one day, they had no supporting evidence. The indictments against Jesus were false or unproven. Jesus' condemnation was illegal because those who might have voted against it weren't there. And there was no defense counsel as was required by law. The sentence against Jesus was pronounced in a place forbidden by the law, which was in the house of Caiaphas, who of course at that time was the high priest. And most of the Sanhedrin members themselves were legally disqualified because they couldn't really try Jesus. They weren't elected and they were mostly his enemies. And last but not least, charges were illegally switched from where, he, where they started out saying he was dealing in blasphemy and rolled it over to treason in front of Pilate. So he kind of pushed off, pushed off to the Romans. So now, okay, now let's go back and ask the question over. Is the crucifixion of Jesus a miracle or a blessing? Or is it both? What do you think, kids? Mm. Both, Dad. Both? Okay. Both. Yeah. Yeah, all right. I can go with that. Only People because... People couldn't consider it a blessing, but we, we being able to look back at what it took mm -hmm. to get to the end result. Right. And, and see that it was. Yeah, and see, that's what... That's what... <clears throat> I look into these kind of things and then my little brain goes, <clears throat> well, why is this... Why is this happening? Is this... When I was running this in my head. I said, is this God's timing? Is this man's timing? Whose is this? Who, who's, Thank you. Who's holding this? Who's driving this train? It's God's timing. Everything in the middle that dealt with Jesus, yes. I mean, think of all the prophecies oh, yeah. that came to pass, even during that week, a day, a couple of days. Mm -hmm. That's a miracle. Yeah. There were so many, there were so many, I'm not going to call them outside influences, but there were so many miraculous things that happened that led up to this. When he raised some friend from the dead, wasn't that a miracle? Well, what do you think? I think it was a miracle. Okay. God created the miracle, but it was a miracle that he was raised from the dead. Okay. Because that, did you read my notes too? You and Eunice been reading my notes. <laughs> It says, sinful people killed Jesus, but God used that unlawful killing as a means of our salvation. Yeah. God's response to evil is redemptive and shows his great love for us. Amen. And I mean, I mean, we're talking us. 
A tragedy became a miraculous blessing. See, I like the way I throw two words together like that. Now you're all totally confused. Because <laughs> now we have miraculous blessings. Like John said, I would say, okay, what's the next bullet? What, what's next in line here? Resurrection. The resurrection. Miracle or blessing or both? Both. It's got to be both. Both. There you go. And you base that on? Well, a miracle is something that only God can do. Right. And a blessing is something that benefits us. Right. Amen. Yeah. It's what you guys have to think about here. Where's where's the who's who's going to benefit from this? In the long run, it's us. Okay. Whether it's a miracle or a blessing, in, in the bottom line is we are the ones who receive the blessing, and the grace, and the forgiveness, and everything else that goes with it. How about this one? The Holy Spirit. Descending on the disciples in the upper room. Miracle. Miracle or blessing? Both. 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 And why would you think that, Sherry, my dear? Because, well, first of all, you start with the first part of it, and, and but the end result is always the blessing. Correct. That's, that's, you know, no matter what you get on the miracle part, the blessing is always at the end. So yeah. So the blessing, the blessings and the miracles are kind of seeming to be like this. <laughs> yeah. You know, they're not they're not actually a separate entity. There are some that are strict miracles, don't yeah. get me wrong. Get you know. Or you could you could say God did these miracles for our blessings. Yeah. Correct. Absolutely. Yeah. Because like I said, the beneficiary of a miracle is us. 